So here um, we are with Slime and Studios Productions. And sorry, that's my crazy dog. But I am currently over here building the lever system switches for my upcoming movie, The Forgotten Age, Chapter 1, which will be filmed soon. But I wanted to show y'all some of the movie props that I'm currently building and working on. And this will be the lever systems that will be used in the movies that will activate and deactivate the mechanics in all the different ages. And I just wanted to show y'all how I am building this. So as you can see here, these are just two pieces of wood. Wait a second. And the pieces of wood is covered in this type of metal here. And all I did was trace the pieces of wood, whatever design I wanted to cover, with the metal, and then cut it out. After that was done, I took screws and screwed down the metal, making sure it was nice and tight against the wood to give it that old, like, riveted style look. And here is nothing but roofing nails, which are within the metal area, to give it a riveted look. And it really doesn't matter if it starts to tear along here. It just helps to give it more of an aged look. And then you can always put your worst side away from the camera if you decide to build one. And as you can see within here, I've got to um, tan one of my bolts. So, but um, you've got some bolts here, whatever size ones you want to use. You, this one here is to support the lever, so the lever can rest up against it. And then, oh, oh, well, here's the bottom pieces now. As you can see, the wood. And then you've got your center one here, which holds your lever. And then you got your other supporting bolt, which helps hold it together. And I'm about to attach it to this metal plate here, draw out the holes, drill it in, and be done with it. But currently, at the moment, I am working on my handle. I am making it out of a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe and I'm heating the pipe up and melting it down to form it to the shape of the handle style that I would want for the movie. And all I'm going to do now is slightly curve the top over, give it a slight curve effect, and then we'll paint up the handle. So now, you can see I got my handle curved at the top how I like it. So we're going to start heating this puppy up and then smash it together to get it fully done. So what you want to do is you want to heat this pipe up until it starts expanding back out because we want this puppy nice and soft so we can smash it together and get it nice and tight. But it all depends upon how you're creating your handle determines how it's going to look. So now you can see that we have the top of our handle smashed together to give it this effect here. And I'm going to use this file right here to shave down the top to make it smoother. So let's see if this camera can record me doing this right here. And then all you want to do is just get rid. any rough edges that's, that's the look we're going for why the trail so now you can see that the handle is fully smoothed down to how I like it to the style I want it, so all I gotta do is paint it up whatever colors I finally decide to do, but I don't know exactly which ones I'm gonna do yet. Now the next thing I need to do is attach this base to here so it can all become part of the system. And then we will get the finished product of the handle. And it looks just like that, but paint it up. Okay guys, welcome back to Slime Studios Productions. 
where I'm teaching you how to make the uh, mist and riven lever systems from the video game for your own movie props or decor. So now what we want is you're going to find your metal plate that you want to use as your base. Or unless you want to use wood, then it would be easier because all you do is screw it in. But I want that metal look and a heavy look. So we're going to use metal plate. I'm going to utilize one of the holes already as mine. And then I'm going to take it. And once you get it positioned where you want it and how you like it, you're going to draw out on that plate exactly what you want. So you know where to drill your holes. Because we need four holes to hold this puppy in. We don't need bolts. Since it's a wooden base, we just need some screws. So, let's drill these puppies out. Now, once you got your thing drawn out and at your drill press, what you want to do is you want to mark where you want your holes at. So, we're going to want one here, here. Of course, we got one there. So, no, you know what? We'll drill four new ones here and here. And then, so that's where our holes are going to get drilled in at. So let's get this drill press set up and we'll start drilling. Now, as you can see here, we're about to start drilling with our drill press. I'll try to put the camera up so you can see it in action. Now, it will be best if you can use an old drill bit so you don't mess up any of your good ones unless you got the one specifically made for metal. These are made for metals, but they are used bits, so we'll have to take a little bit slower than normal. Make sure you wear eye protection, um, and if you need hearing protection, then hearing protection. So, and you're just gonna punch it straight through. Spots where you're gonna drill at, and slow, nice and slow. Here. Yes, I'll play later, baby, okay? I'm almost done. I just got four holes to drill and put in some screws, and I'll be done, okay? I don't know, baby, okay? Let me finish this. So, here we are back from closer view. Sorry, guys. That's what happens when you got kids. You've got to worry about them, but I don't regret anything. So, okay, here we go. We're drilling nice and slow. Technically, I should be using oil with this, but... Just do everything nice and slow. There we go. Now, we are going to assemble our plate with the bottom piece. Yeah, technically, I got three kids. Two humans and that one fur baby you saw. And the fur baby's the worst out of all. So, let me hammer down this metal. What I'm doing is I'm hammering Okay, back for round two. I was hammering out all the rough spots that would be causing any issues with me connecting this. Then all you gotta do is get your screws that you want and screw this puppy on. Now, being this is only screwed on, 
it cannot support a lot of weight. So you're going to have to So whenever you pick this puppy up, you cannot pick it up by the handle. Now if you use bolts, then, and you use stronger wood than just um, 2x6s, like I did, then you know what, then... See, we got one of the screws in. Well, make sure it's lined up to the exact where you want it because. carefully because you don't put too much strain on it you're gonna do your other side you want this thing to be sealed down nice and snug and there we go Plates there, plates here, and with this here, now we have a full working ribbon lever that can control whatever you want to control. Thank you for watching Slime Center Production. As I do more movie props, I will let you know how I build each and every single one of them. Have a nice day and let the adventures begin. Okay, everybody, I'm back here again. Here's my finished product of my um, handle system. I just need one more coat of paint for the gold handle. But this is basically what it's going to look like as my movie prop for my movie. So now you get the gist of what everything is going to be looking like. And with the special effects, this will control a dome, which will hold the linking books to... Teleport me to the new ages. So y'all have fun and see y'all in the next movie props.